Princess Fukam was given the title of princess in 1038 AD, just after she was born. She was a princess of the Song dynasty and daughter to Emperor Renzong. What makes her unique is that she is the only surviving child of Emperor Renzong since most of the emperor's children died early. Because of this, the emperor loved, favored and cherished this princess a great deal. Song Renzong was born to Consort Li, who had formerly served as a maid in the household of Consort Lu. Empress Henzong gained an interest in her and they bore a boy and a daughter, who died. After birth, Empress Lu took baby Renzong from Consort Li. Consort Li still kept the secret about Song Renzong's identity even after he became emperor. Unfortunately for Renzong, Consort Li will take the secret to her grave during Song Renzong's eleventh year of rule. Nonetheless, the truth regarding Renzong's birth will be revealed to him by his imperial uncle, Prince Zhao Yuanyan, a year after Consort Li's death. Emperor Renzong, determined by his immense grief, visited Consort Li's grave with tears and commanded for the construction of Jingling Palace for her grave. He also gave his mother the posthumous title, Empress Hang Yi. But Renzong won't stop there. To appease his death mother he will arrange for the marriage between his beloved daughter Fu Khan and Li Wei in order to enhance the status of his mother. Because Li Wei was Song Renzong's cousin from his mother's side. Sadly, Princess Fu Kang's time of happiness was slowly coming to an end. At the age of ten, Song Renzong arranged the marriage between Fu Khan and Li Wei who was three years older than her. However, the wedding only took place when Fu Kang was twenty years old. Due to the emperor's immense love for his daughter, Song Renzong held a grand wedding ceremony for her. Moreover, Emperor Renzong built Princess Fu Kang a luxurious princess residence for the newly couple. Yet, the marriage life of the princess was very chaotic. Not only did she not like her husband Li Wei, who is a good and honest person but not good-looking. Li Wei was also a skilled painter but that didn't change anything, Fu Kang still found him ugly to look at. So rather than spend time with her ugly husband who was very talented and artistic, she enjoyed the company of the servants she brought with her from the palace. Especially one particular very good-looking eunuch called Liang Haiji. You see. Not only was Li Wei not good-looking, but he and the princess also have very different personalities. Princess Fu Kang was very outgoing and cheerful while her husband kept to himself. Talking about in-laws, the princess did not respect her in-laws at all, especially her mother-in-law Yang, since Fu Kang was always in the company of her handsome male servant rather than her husband, her mother-in-law Yang became very watchful and angry with the princess. Yang accidentally caught Princess Fu Kang and Liang Haiji drinking and having fun. As a consequence, the princess beat up her mother-in-law and knocked on the palace gate at night, and complained to the emperor, causing huge controversy. The most serious thing about this incident is that Princess Fu Kang opened the palace gate privately in the middle of the night, which is taboo in ancient times. Once the palace gate was closed, it could not be easily opened. The emperor had a difficult decision to make. He had to have his daughter live in the palace temporarily, but he also had to appease Li Wei's family for the rather unfortunate situation. As a result, Song Renzong replaced Fu Kang's servants, including her eunuch Liang Haiji. This move by the emperor made the princess restless and she threatened to commit suicide. Emperor Renzong reinstated Liang Haiji, which made many imperial officials question Song Renzong's handling of the situation. Because Renzong let the princess off the hook for her actions. As matters got worse, Princess Fu Kang's mother Miao Fei wanted her daughter out of the marriage, but one will think she will be diplomatic. Instead, Miao Fei conspired with another to find fault about Li Wei in order to end her daughter's marriage. Unfortunately for Miao Fei, Li Wei acted cautiously and found no faults in her son-in-law. Miao Fei, desperate to end her daughter's controversial marriage, advised Song Renzong twice, to kill Li Wei. I but the emperor declined his wife's request, because killing Li Wei will defeat the purpose of his daughter's marriage, which is to have more connections with his mother's family. At this point, Renzong's plan had been going poorly. In response to these insurmountable difficulties, Li Wei's brother Li Hangjin requested a divorce for his brother and finally, 
Song Renzong approved the divorces. So what happens after the divorce? Everyone can now put everything aside and move on from this atrocious marriage, right? Yes. Usually for most people, but you see. Song Renzong will make very questionable move before his death in 1063 AD, which is to remarry Li Wei and Princess Fu Kang again. This decision definitely made Li Wei and Princess Fu Kang unhappy, but why did he remarry them? Uncertain about what Song Renzong thought at the time, one could only guess that he had some concern about balancing the imperial court and royal family before passing away, or that he may have felt sorry for his biological mother and sacrificed the happiness of his daughter and Li Wei to appease his dead mother. Or maybe Song Renzong wanted to leave the princess in good hands before he passed away. The relationship between Fu Kang and Li Wei had a been ruined for years with quarrels. Fu Kang died in 1070 AD at 33 years old, seven years after the death of her father, when Emperor Shenzong, the second emperor who succeeded Song Renzong visited the princess Fu Kang, he was in dismay, and noted how lonely Fu Kang seemed before her death. Her bedroom was extremely cold and she had no one to assist her. To keep warm, Fu Kang made fire to warm herself, but in the process, she burnt her face with charcoal. Her quilts and clothes were infested with lice. Angry Shenzong, appalled by what he had seen, accused Li Wei for not taking care of Fu Kang and demoted him from the position of being prince-in-law. With Fu Kang treating Li Wei miserably throughout their marriage, it is possible he did not feel any inclination to help her or be in her company. So what do you think? Did Li Wei torture Fu Kang behind closed doors after Song Renzong died?